back at it again and so we've often checked out videos where people have been asked why do they support biden well i think today it's time we ask the other question why do folks support trump let's dive in info wars alex jones you my man keep hanging in there i'm from detroit michigan and i know Indeed. how hard it is to get through to people you've been fighting for us for a long time and I'm grateful to know that this is InfoWars. I honestly was a Democrat like eons ago and slowly developed into the Republican view, yes. What made you decide to walk away from the Democratic Party? Yeah. Uh, the way they were dealing with our country, mm -hmm. as I said to you earlier, taking all of America's jobs across seas and giving them discounts. Um, cash for clunkers was a big disgrace because it shut down every single secondhand shop like mechanic shop, steel industry. They took those cars and they drilled a hole in them and they didn't even give them to anybody. It was disgusting. I actually got out of college whenever it was all starting and now that it I'm not familiar with the cash for conkers. Clunkers? Y'all let me know. That was a government thing? I've I've never heard of it honestly, not at all. So uh, if anybody is familiar, please let me know. I mean, it sounds like people or the government said, hey, bring us your, your clunkers and we'll pay you some cash. I mean, was it good cash? I mean, were they actually giving a decent amount or was it just the amount you typically would get from scrapping a car? Like, how was all that working and why did they do that? Let me know. Never heard of it. So I'm interested to know. Disgusting. I actually got out of college whenever it was all starting. And now that it's coming back, I'm for Trump and I'm proud of what he's doing. So. Yes, bringing jobs back to America, bringing, um, like opening like what we can supply for our country instead of like having the un other countries having the upper hand. I think I went through a stage in college where I was brainwashed by the system but Ooh. after that you know that's living in western pennsylvania that's you know that's we're all republicans basically i liked obama Ooh, so that's interesting someone who admitted that hey i was brainwashed by the college system which we've seen that displayed time and time again um in We'll continue to see that because those videos are so interesting and frustrating at the same time, mind you. But it's interesting that he he came out of it, which, as I've stated before, it's fine if you want to vote Democrat. That's totally fine. But at least don't be so brainwashed that your only excuse for voting Democrat is, oh, because it ain't Trump or it's not Republican. You know what I mean? At least have some type of good reasoning why you would vote democrat because like i stated before and while we're checking out this video we've we've watched plenty of people give either no reason or in my humble opinion very ter terrible reasons for voting democrat so yeah that, that that's interesting and it gives me hope it gives me a whole lot of hope somebody woke up out of the psychosis they came out of the zombie stage and <laughs> came back to life and could actually think for themselves. That's what I want. I want everybody to just think for themselves. You don't have to follow a mob or the crowd. Just think for yourself. If you want to vote Democrat and you're thinking for yourself, hey, right on. More power to you. But when you're just zombies and, oh, well, I guess the crowd of zombies going over this way. Guess I'm going to go too. You know, that that's the part that I have a problem with. But as always, y'all let me know what you feel, how you feel about that in the comment section. I was more left, but than Republicans, basically. I liked Obama and I was more left, but then he did terrible the second term, so I switched. I've been radicalized after Brett Kavanaugh. <laughs> radicalized, what do you mean? Like, I'm, I'm hardcore right. I'm never dating a Democrat. Yeah. Well, I was actually similar to him. I used to be pretty far left until Obama's second term, and he kind of showed what the left's true colors are. Mm. So what was it specifically, though, that made you walk away? It's a lot of the legislation he was passing, a lot of the stuff that he did that kind of showed that more the idea of the whole globalization, not in a economic, showing that he'd rather put other countries in front of America. When you're the leader of America, you should put America first. Yeah, so you've become pretty firm in... So I, 
I do. I just want to point out. I love that she got specific and wanted to ask him. Hey, so exactly why? And he actually had some reasoning. So I, I like that. I like that. And disowning the Democrats after the fiasco with Kavanaugh. What what really made you decide in that whole mess to walk away? Um, pretty much when they just said that he has to prove his innocence and that it was a job interview. That's that's kind of crazy. I mean, she's the one making the accusation. She's got to prove herself. I mean, she had no corroborating witnesses. That's insane. What do you think about innocent until proven guilty, except for now you're guilty until proven innocent. And even after that, the court of public opinion is going to always remember. And whenever there's an argument, they're going to bring it up which I feel like is a huge problem, but hey. About how Obama kept pushing for gun control, would that have played into why you walked away from the Democrats? Well, thousand percent, because I live over in New York State and the gun laws they have there are just ridiculous. They're just destroying the Second Amendment and that's something that you can't do. She actually is the one who red-pilled our entire family because we were really afraid of um, Trump, President wow. Trump. And um, then she started doing research and we discovered that um, he is not a fascist and like Hillary Clinton really, really I also is a figured fascist. between the two, I was scared of both Trump yeah, we and Hillary, of, but I knew, I knew, <laughs> thanks mom, I knew Hillary was worse. And um, so I actually made myself do research in hopes I'd find something that would prove because you don't want to believe the president or whoever's going to be president is going to be this horrible, terrible man. A lot of people called her Nazi at school. I just, I just want to take the time to acknowledge that this young lady here said, you know what? I didn't really like either candidate. I, I was scared. I was scared. So you know what I did? Instead of following any type of crowd, I sat down and did my own research. I sat down and, and thought for myself. That's what you love to hear, right? Being able to think for yourself, sitting down and doing your own research, not just mindlessly following the crowd once again. That's that's what I love to hear. I don't care if, if she if she said she was voting Democrat, I would still applaud because she had a reason and she thought for herself. You love to hear it, man. You love to hear it. Find something that would prove because you don't want to believe it's the president, beautiful thing. whoever's going to be president, is going to be this horrible, Thank terrible you for man. A lot of people called her Nazi at school. Um, all my kids got called Nazis all the time. Um, Thank you I for lost yourself. a lot of friends. We lost family, but we're here. People following the crowd. People got angry with her because she disagreed with them. And that, that that's, that's another beautiful thing right there, too. She didn't give in. Hey, if y'all if y'all want to walk out because we disagree, all right, well, we weren't friends or family in the first place. Because if that's the only reason why you're walking away, not because I disrespected you in any way, shape, or form, not because I cheated you out of any type of money or, you know, harmed you in any type of way, but if you're walking away from me because politically I disagree with you, we weren't even cool to begin with. See ya. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Peace. That's another beautiful thing, man. You, you love to see stuff like this. This this is a wonderful family right here. The daughter thinking for herself, doing her own research. The mom not giving in to people saying, you know what, I'm out. Man. Yeah. Wonderful. So have you guys been Democrats before then? Yeah, I'm a registered Democrat. But I, I do that to throw them off. Because <laughs> I, I want to vote in the primaries. I was in the, the union. I was in the union. But it really oh, didn't take much for me to switch. Bad. Democrats are pathetic because the, the unions, they say they help people in jobs, but they really don't help people get jobs. No. For like 20 years, we, you know, he, we were living like hand to mouth. And under Obama, it seemed like nothing was going to get better at all. Nothing. And it's really refreshing. Nice like, I feel really good. Air. Did you guys vote for Obama? I did the first time. I didn't want to because I've been pro-life my whole life. But I voted for him because he's the first black president, really. You know, um, and that was kind of a weird reason to do it. I didn't like the other guy. But then second time, no. And then with Trump, we all, you know, recorded our um, our vote to make sure that there was a picture because we were all ready to, like, shove it in someone's face if they, you know. Very so. determined. We were yeah, very determined. Very determined. Uh, yeah. But also, I've noticed around here, it's been years, but our streets are finally being fixed. Haven't you noticed? Like, oh, yeah. since Trump's been elected, I mean, from what I've noticed, our streets that um, were in pretty bad shape, they're finally working on them and it's and eerie just to say brought trump into we made him win pennsylvania which made him win the presidency because we're the only ones that turned eerie trump, <laughs> so, trump, there you go. trump number one all the way yes
six more years. Why do you support Trump? Oh, why not? He has done more for our country in, what, a year and a half, two years, than any other president has ever done, probably all together. Have you always considered yourself a Republican? Actually, no. No. Hmm. But I got smart. I got very wise. When did you walk away from no. the Democratic Party? <sighs> Golly. Oh, probably years. about 10 years ago. What made you decide to leave? I don't like what they stand for or how they go about doing what they, you know, try to, to accomplish. You know, they, they think that... Explain. All the American, you know, men and women are stupid. And, you know, we have a voice. And I've, I've, said, I've said that same thing. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Trump has given it to us, and we're screaming. <sighs> really made The people in the background. <laughs> oh, man. You love to see it. Every, see, and th this, this, is, this is what you want to see. People having a good time and enjoying each other's company. Not everybody out in the streets protesting every two seconds, yelling and screaming, blocking traffic. Come on. You know, can, can we just have some block parties and eat some good food? Kumbaya, sing some good songs? Is that so difficult? All the American, you know, men and women are stupid. And, you know, we have a voice. And Trump has given it to us. And we're screaming. The lady in the back. What really made me walk away from the Democratic Party is when they were telling me something that I knew wasn't true in my heart. And it's stuff like, um, if you might want to say who to vote for, what their agenda was and i find out it was different and basically they wanted me to actually vote actually blind without even finding out who hank johnson was and who uh, maxine waters was and all these other people that are mixed up in the democratic party that happens to look like me so i have a problem with that i've been changed mm. expecting them to vote democrat just because he's black don't think about who's actually on the ticket you, you just make sure you vote Democrat. Whoever's a Democrat, you vote for them. All right? You're black. You don't vote anything else. You're Democrat. Okay? That's what the color of your skin says. You Democrat. <laughs> he gave him the finger wave like the, the King Bay Matumbo. No, no, no. <laughs> I need to know exactly who these folks are. I don't, I, I don't give a crap about my skin color. I don't give a crap about the, the title next to your name. Whatever. Who are you? What do you represent? What do you believe in? What are you trying to accomplish? Why do you want to be in this office? Got to respect a man like that. Got to respect him. Democratic Party that happens to look like me. So I have a problem with that. I've been chased. Um, and I've been chased. Rain. I've, been, I've been having, oh, believe it or not, I haven't had like, by me doing this talk with y'all in my head and so stuff. I'm probably going to have, probably need to find me some other homebody. No. But so I, you're being chased by who? By the Black Lives Matter people. The protesters, like, and I go back to them and say, they have no understanding. And I tell them, like, why would you get me? What did I do to you? I'm not taking no food out your mouth. I'm not I'm not taking your money from your bills being paid. I'm not hindering you from growing in life. So why would you mad at me for doing what I want to do? Because you didn't stand in line. You didn't get with the program. If you're black, you got to vote Democrat. As Sonny Hostin said, if you're black and you're a Republican, you're an oxymoron. <laughs> that's why they chased you and they've also been programmed so you haven't been attacked or chased by any of the trump supporters though mm -mm. no no trump support mm -mm. they love me generally i don't super support him i'm just here to have a good time um but you know i definitely think that the left wing right now isn't doing us any favors right wing not doing us a lot of favors, but they're doing more than the left wing. Um, vote third party. Yeah, so libertarian, is that what you're saying? Uh, classical liberal. Classical liberal. So have you always been a little bit more of a liberal? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Bernie Sanders first, and then I looked at Bernie. But when I saw Mr. Donald Trump, that's what changed me over, because I knew he was, he was pure in his heart, what he wanted to do. And when they rejected him, I was in Detroit, when, the, uh, when he came to the ministers and asked just to sit, sit down and talk, it was so much resistance. So now that I see 
that uh, the unemployment rate for blacks is at its all-time uh, low, and you still won't get people to understand that there's some change going on. I know that I can bring other people over by just giving them, giving them the facts, just the way I learned. So it's just a lot of misinformation, and it caused me to change. So, uh, interesting video there. Uh, one that you love to see. People thinking for themselves. Even the guy there at the end said, you know what, I'm, I'm going to sit back and, and, and do some research. Uh, I think he said he, he looked up Bernie Sanders, Ber Bernie Sanders um, and what he was about, what he represented and all that good stuff. And that's like I, like I've stated before, that is all you can ask for and all I ask for. Just do your own research. Think for yourself. We just see so many mindless zombies these days. It's disgusting absolutely just absolutely disgusting and, and the other black gentleman in there who said you know he's always been chased and harassed why what's wrong with the gentleman hmm is it because he doesn't follow the program i think so i think that's the that's exactly the reason why uh they they chase them and whatever else they've been programmed <laughs> and, and and it's a shame it, it, it truly is they don't even know why they're doing it i i bet if you were to ask them why do you vote democrat I guarantee you they couldn't tell you anything other than it ain't Republican, which isn't a reason anyway. Would anybody take me up on that bet? <laughs> but also, you know, one thing that uh, you also find interesting with, you know, this video in comparison to other videos that we have checked out where, you know, there have been Democrats asked similar questions is you notice nobody was angry or yelling or telling her to leave or anything of that nature quite interesting huh and lastly the the, the family with the with with the um young girl that had i guess red pilled the family or whatever did her own research it's like wow isn't that a wonderful thing in, in a time where you you we think that all kids have been brainwashed she actually sat down did her own research, looked up everything, looked up both candidates. I, I was I was highly impressed and, and happy about that situation. That that was a beautiful thing right there. That was wonderful. And then of course on top of that, the mother, you know, speaking about the friends and the family that betrayed her and left, and she stood her ground. That was another beautiful thing as well. She stood her ground. Said no. If you want to leave, leave. I'm fine with that. She didn't panic. She didn't move. She stood her ground firm. And that's what you love to see. That's what that, that, that's 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 what you love to see. Beautiful thing. But as always, y'all let me know what you thought about all of this in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. It's totally free. All right. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to share these videos. It's the arrow button down below. Peace and love. I'm out.